alert tonight. A counterfeiter unloading fake bills, leaving local mom and pop shops out big bucks. 10 News anchor Aitika Milanis is live in Coronado with how he's making these fakes seem like the real deal. Aitika? He sure is. This guy's in his 20s, and he's pretty bold. He has hit Postal Unlimited here three times with a lot of fake bills. He's also hit a clothing store down the street. People around here think there are many more victims. Postal Unlimited, can I help you? Postal Unlimited seems to have something for just about everyone. I've got them all put away for you. But Lori Tabano says this customer didn't really want to buy anything. We're blurring his face because police haven't identified him yet. I recognized him right away. He actually wanted to give her some money. The only problem is his bills were about as worthless as Monopoly money. So when he came in with a $100 bill wanting to make a small purchase, the owner just told him that uh, there's no change. But that was after Tobano had already been fooled by his counterfeit money. Two $20 bills. She told me at first glance she didn't catch it, but later. Uh, definitely the texture. It felt like maybe it had gone through a washing machine with fabric softener, very smooth texture, little faded. Tobano couldn't believe it when the same guy came back a third time. So when he gave me a $50 bill, I just told him it's first thing in the morning. I really don't have any change for it. See that pink shirt he's holding? The owner of that clothing store a couple of blocks away says he walked right out with it, not even willing to part with his counterfeit money. So if you're wondering about that pen that's used to test fake money, well, the bank told the store owner here that the kind of paper that the money is being made out of the pen doesn't work on it. The guy is described as 5'7", dark-skinned, thin, with a cool demeanor. We're live in Coronado tonight. Aitika Milanis, 10 News.